Hello and welcome. These are horse racing selections for Thursday the 10th of November. And if I remember tonight, I will also do the golf starting Thursday the 10th of November. I am Flat Cap Callum. I'm hoping you are all very, very well. All right, headlines of what's coming up tonight. It's a £10 bet for Thursday. Three bets. So I've, I've made it interesting for our £10, but it's £10. It's a quiet day out there. Uh, I've, had to, uh, I've had to get a little bit creative. Um, so we'll come to that. So it's £10 day. 12.55 air is our first racing selection. So 12.55 air, first race, free bets. Before we go through those, we'll go through a quick rundown of what happened on Wednesday, which is not going to take very long because it was an absolute pile of junk. Um, yeah, just <laughs> it's it's just the worst when you're on a losing run. Like I know you can look at long term profit and loss, and I'll say that to you. And you look at that; it doesn't stop it being rubbish when you're right in the long run. And yeah, for this month now, I think we, we are we know we're well over ninety pound down. So it's four and a half day stake down. So definitely the worst worst start to a month we've had. Can we claw it back? I've got, I've just got no guarantees. Um, so yeah, I can't. You know, I can't promise that. But uh, it's no fun for you. It's no fun for me. So uh, just have to try my hardest to uh, be, uh, you know, incredibly amusing whilst presenting uh, terrible tips um, and and uh, and hope for, for some forgiveness. I think. Um, so bet one uh, start to run really well and then drop like a stone. Uh, ran from the front well and then dropped like a stone. Uh, that actually did place and that ran well to a degree and dropped like a stone. So there was a bit of a theme there, but we had a place single on May Song. I think that was the most exciting it got. Um, Dundalk, uh, that was close but not close enough. Navarosi, uh, no. Shimmerick got fifth but only Sky paid that out and Alexi Tolstoy can get binned off next time. So place single for Sky, no one else. And then uh, ran well, but then faded. Ran wellish, but faded. Ran wellish, but faded. Ran up with the pace, but faded. I mean, it was a bit of a theme. Um, they they all gave us a, a minor kind of oh no. So uh, that was that. And then the combination was clearly a bit of a bit of a washout. So uh, unfortunately, that was twenty five on for the channel stats. I've got it as one pound nineteen return. So a twenty three eighty nine heavy loss for a Wednesday. Uh, that is that is rubbish. So yeah, um, at the moment, and, and this happens on a bad run. Um, it's it's twofold at the moment. Is we've got a lack of winners and my strike rates down. Sometimes it's just the strike rate. Sometimes it's the lack of winners. At the moment, it's heavy because it's both. We're not getting. I'm not hitting my strike rate, so I'm not hitting what I'd normally be aiming for, which is was 35% from a Sky account point of view, about 30%, 28, 30% outside of that. Um, that's that's what I need to be hitting uh, for an average kind of a day. And I'm below par there. And the win strike rate, you know, if you've watched the channel a long time, you'll see there's, there's weeks you go and we have nice winners every day. It's, it's not happening at the moment. So will Thursday change our fortunes? I don't know, but we'll try. So we've got creative. Now, when I say creative, um, kind of can't remind people. So for some of you who have only been on the channel a few months, um, you won't have seen uh, the, uh, the kind of the tail end of the jump season when I start the channel. Um, and so in different types of disciplines, whether it's hurdles, chasers, you know, all weather, flat, Ireland, UK, it all makes a difference, the types of things I'm looking for. And for the jump season, what I try and pick out sometimes along the way is these little nuggets uh, that are sat there lurking at the bottom end of the market in a, in a novice or a maiden that have been a little bit overlooked for some reason or another. Um, and early doors in the channel, we hit, you know, hit, hit a few. I think there was three that were three, figure, pl three figures and placed. Never had a winner on the channel um, like that. But uh, but yeah, we've had we had... Uh, Bin and Gone was the famous one that was was tipped at two fifties. It drifted to five hundred. I think it was something like two hundred when it placed. Um, but we've had a couple of hundred to one shots place as well. We got one of them today. Um, so these horses can run like the price, but statistically on the channel, for me picking a hundred to one or more shots, I'm over indexing in the percentage of those strike ratings. So in theory, 
if you picked a horse at 100 to 1, you would expect a 1 in 20 of those horses to place. Um, that would be where you would be looking at. My strike rate's much better than that. I can't tell you off the top of my head. I'd need to actually check it out and go through actually how many 100 to 1 pluses. But we, we've had a few place and I certainly haven't done, uh, done loads. Um, so, bet one. This is the main bit of the stake, six pound. This is where we're going. 12.55 market raise in summer moon. I think that's worth a go at that price in that race. No extra places in it though. And we've got the 2.05 market raise in Coupe de Gold 11s. 2.50, that's the one we're having a good go with. Now, I could have done a smaller lucky 15 and increased the single. And, you know, I've had some of these before where you, you, you put them in the bets and it's the only thing that comes off on the bet and you think, oh, I should have put more money in the single. I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to play it safe. So what I'm trying to do is land a place at that kind of a price and get stuff with it. So we've got a little single and we've got the main lucky 15 and then we're finishing off there, 8.30 Chelmsford Mailar. So it's 18 pence each way lucky 15 and the 30p each way single on the Skiffle King. But I would prefer that it's eight runner at the moment, prefer it to stay to eight runner, that's definitely preferable. There isn't any extra places involved there. Um, for those of you that, that have Paddy and Betfair accounts, there's a little side market double that's probably worth a little go for those who like it um, in the in the placed market. So you can do Skiff or King to finish at top four with a horse in, in Bet3. So just if you've got a, a Paddy or a Betfair, worth looking out for that. Um, but that is Bet1, £6 is your bet. Oh, I should say Paddy or Better. So Paddy are the same place terms as Sky, but you will get bog on some of them. So paddy over sky at the moment, um, as long as the place terms stay the same, because you've got four here and four here, legs one and three are standard terms. Then, uh, also, because it's jumper season, um, what that means is we will be doing more win tricksies. I don't tend to do many on the flat, but I do more on the jumps. Um, and th these have had a bit of a history on the channel because when I started, no one cared. <laughs> they, they would come off occasionally, we'd get two, we'd have a few nice prices, and then we just went on an absolute terrible run of win tricks, and so they've got a bit of a bad name. That being said, when we had Cheltenham, I hit a win Trixie Cheltenham. When we had Astro and Ascot, I hit a win Trixie Ascot. So they, these are workable. I tend to do more on the jumps, so I just find that they fit uh, better. So we've got 225 Taunton, more dread, 9 to 2. 240 Market Raisin, Planned Paradise, 5 to 4. And 3 o'clock Taunton, Dancing Harry, 11 to 4. 50 pence, win Trixie. So that's win doubles and a win treble. No each ways, no singles. So for those of you who are new to the channel, you don't see so many win bets on here. But I try and interlace um, a few bits and bobs, and there's many reasons why. But I'm just going to crack on with the authors tonight rather than go, go into it all. And uh, But yeah, 50p win Trixie, bet two. And then we're going to finish off. Oh, I should say as well, I didn't put bookmaker on there because you want a bog bookmaker. So if you are putting it on tonight, 365 Coral, if they're giving you best price guaranteed the uh, night before, definitely. Um, if you're not putting this on till in the morning, where most bookies are bog, even Sky will be bog on these three races in the morning. And then finishing off, um, again, a little bit rogue because I've got combination doubles and I've not included them anywhere else. So if we get a single winner or a single place, it's not counting for anything. Um, so we've got here the 325 Newcastle, definitely worth a look this race. Um, it's my preferred race of the day um, because you've got 365 Coral, Hills, Sky and Betfred. There's five bookies are gonna pay three places on seven runners. And I think there's some each way value in this race, definitely. So I've put it in my combination double but I've left it out of doing it in, in kind of any lucky 15 bet. So we've got 325 Newcastle, Rapid Raider 9s, Zoffoli 22s. But I would say it, it, it probably not worth doing this bet if you're not using 365 Coral, Hill, Sky or Betfred. If you're not getting the third place in the seven runner, I wouldn't be as excited about the race and I wouldn't be probably doing this this combination double. So... I've said that, they'll probably come first and second now and I'll eat my words. But but yeah, word of caution, if we use one of those five bookies. And then we're going to go on the 8 o'clock Chelmsford, so it's a bit of a gap. Lafan, 12 to 1. And Seattle King, I mean, mixed form, but overpriced 80s. So um, that, that's the horse I meant. So that one in, in uh, back over here, our number one horse. Where is it? I've lost it now. 
the Skiffle King. Those two in a in a little double. So Seattle King top five um, and the Skiffle King top four. You can do that little double. It'll work on Paddy and Betfair. Always better, those bets, always better night before. The prices change and mix and match a little bit overnight and you end up getting short prices. So, yeah, if you like a little one of those, have a go. But we've got four times 25p each way doubles. So we've got a few risks here because we've got an 80 to 1 shot that could win. And if nothing else goes off on that race, this will look like a just ridiculous bet and everyone's going to be knocked off with me. But we're having, a, we're having a bit of a risk. It's Thursday. Let's Let's go a bit free and easy with it and chuck it around. Um, so £10 is what we've got. A £6, a £2, a £2. Um, I didn't want to go more than that um, on these. Um, so, yeah, and there wasn't... I mean, I'll add a look at Chelsea. Chel- Chel- it wasn't more I liked. So that's what we've got. All right, that's those. And then I missed, in my haste to get the video out last night, the golf bet. This is... I put it up in the uh, in the comments, but this is the golf bet for this weekend. This starts for th- on Thursday morning. So we've got... Um, Four singles with some combination doubles across the two tournaments and then a little side bet as well. So it's £5 bet for golf if you want to do it this week. Ned Bank Challenge, Ross Fisher and Xander Lombard. These, I haven't double checked today. These were the prices last night. 66 to 1 on both of them. And then the Houston Open paying eight places, Joel Darmen and Alex Smalley. 33s on Joel, 66 on Alex. It's four times 40p each way singles. And then four times 10p each way doubles. Um, I know this looks, you know, people that's 10p each way double. What is it really worth it? Even a place is is a, is a nice return for a bet like that. But if you if you manage to score two winners, you'll be thinking that was a well worth putting 20p uh, on on that bet. Um, so that is that. Uh, and then we've got the side bet. So it's the two from the Ned Bank Challenge in a top category each way double. So top South African. Top three, this is Xander Lombard, nines. And top English, Ross Fisher, 20s. 50p each way double. They need to come top three. So it's a little extra on, on those two in the Ned Bank Challenge um, as well. Five pound is your bet. That's the golf. All right, that is me. I will leave it there. Um, expecting tomorrow night's upload to be later again. So I think it's going to be like a 11, 11.30 upload. I'll do my best to do it earlier. Uh, but as most of you appreciate, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to juggle multiple things in my life at the moment and uh, and I'm staying steadfast. So I, I, I want to keep doing the channel. I like doing what I'm doing on the channel, uh, but uh, fitting it in sometimes is there. What I would want to reinforce to you is uh, the, the research is not compromised by that. So if I didn't have time to do the research properly, I wouldn't put the stuff up. Um, and the first week of me uh, of, of me going back to, to proper well it's other other types of work um yeah we had a great week so it's not like it's getting in the way uh we're just on a bit of a bit of a rubbish run um i'd love it to change i mean yeah hit hit, hit 100 to 1 minute the skiffle king that'd be nice wouldn't it um i i just honestly just don't think that horse is a donkey like it, i mean it is a donkey in the context of most horses but in the context of that race should not be anywhere near 100 to 1. It's much better than 100 to 1, I think, in terms of potential. Will it come top three? Who knows? Even the ones that do come in there generally have scraped scraped through the skin of their horse's neck through. All right, I'm going to finish up there tonight and I will see you tomorrow evening. Um, and, then, uh, and then we shall be heading into the weekend and see what we can find there. But hopefully along the way we get a blinking decent day because yeah it's getting on my wick all right thanks very much thanks for all the support as always uh you never know this time tomorrow i might have hit the 2000 subscriber mark i've got five to go so if you've got friends and family that haven't subscribed get them on help us get over the 2000 mark because that'll be a nice little bit of synergy because tomorrow will be 10 month anniversary of the channel so uh so yeah that'll be nice if we can if we can get to 2000 subscribers I'm, I'm clearly all about the stats. I'm not about achievement. I'm not looking at like some sort of league table here on YouTube and going, who's got the most subscribers? Just personal achievement, 2,000 subscribers. That's way more than I ever thought I'd get. So, uh, yeah, happy with that. Um, all right, see you tomorrow. <laughs> I'll, I'll say goodbye for the third time. Thanks very much. Cheerio.